and it was stage by stage. The first stage was, uh, they call it uh, Ayasituma, that means they put the, the strings or the, the treads um, along their, their loins. They put it in their loin and wove. And that they did not get any broad uh, type of uh, weave. They didn't get a like this. They put it in a very small. So they decided to have it broad. And then. say a big thanks to all my new subscriber to my returning subscriber and to my old subscriber god bless you all for your support for always coming around to share for my video i want to say thank you so much god bless you and to everyone that is sharing my video as well yeah my people if you want to reach uh, two or three days now this day i never upload new video i've been more than no more than no verse more than no man i spoke before this that is the nano season, since they change, so I just decided to come and say hello to the day and to there is this video that really draw my attention. I say, wow, I'm not going to watch this alone. What am I talking about here? So I saw an elderly uh, Ghanaian man. So he was talking about how this Ghanaian um, clothes was made. Another Ghana um, uh, model, when they call it. Uh, Kinte, I've been more than not best. I don't pronounce the, the name. Well, I even love that clothes. Even I even have, I think I have a battery type because I just love it and uh, I don't I don't know why. I love it because the color, you know, it has a lot of color. Expecting. Thank you so much. God bless you. In your times of need, God will always send people that we back you up. That we favor you in the name of Jesus. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Words are not enough for me to say thank you. If I have mats all over my body, guys, believe me, for what you guys have done, I can't, I, I, I don't even know how to, how to say it. Thank you so much. God bless you. So the man let us know that the beginning, the clothes was only white and black. So we... I'm going to share with us. When I saw it, I said, Wow, no wonder that Ghanaians, most of Ghana, you know, any occasion, any party, marriage, they always put putting it on men and women, you know, and it really that is tradition, you know, it really look nice. And I, and I know that there is an history behind it. So the story that is what we are going to listen. So thank you very much as you watch this video. Share with our loved one, with your loved ones. Share to everybody. Yeah. God bless you. Right. Right. This double that one is a single weaving and I Something about Kinte, you are in the town of uh, Boinri. Boinri is a um, was a village some uh, 500 years back. And uh, the very job, the very business they do is uh, weaving. Okay, uh, it, uh, weaving, as a matter of fact, uh, started from many parts of the world. 
But their type of weaving is what has uh, gained ground. Uh, the weaving was in ancient Egypt, weaving was in Israel, weaving was in Japan, Korea, whatever part of those world. In Africa, we had um, weaving in, in, in almost every part of Africa going on. Then came a time when uh, the people in this part of the world uh, what is now Asante, the uh, wrong way pronounced Ashanti, uh, it is Asante, all right, uh, started establishing uh, towns and villages. So, uh, the people of Boyre, uh, generally, people were hunters and farmers by profession. The major uh, profession they had in those days was farming and hunting and collecting of other items. 20 years old then uh, were farmers and hunters at the same time living in this place called Boy. They uh, were on their farm and they noticed uh, the spider weaving its web. Well. So they understood the spider and decided to come out with something. Uh, after studying the spider step by step, uh, they came up um, with something that looked like um, cloth. Uh, it was not very close to the cloth, but something they could use to cover the human body. So in those days, it was only uh, the very rich that could uh, have something, animal skin, leopard skin, lion skin, to cover their body, and it was costly. So when they came up with something that could be uh, cheaper, they showed it to the chief of that time. These two gentlemen were called Gregu and Amiel. They were brothers from one uh, stock family. The family is known as the Asuna family. It's also of the Asuna clan. And then the chief said, I am under somebody. We are all in the, in the Asante kingdom. But I am under a big chief, bigger than myself. So if you have been able to come out with something like this, let's go and show it to the king himself in Kumasi. So, he left them, the two gentlemen, Prabhu and Amaya, to uh, Kumasi to go and show it to the, the king at that time, called King Osei Tutu. Uh, the founder of the, of the Asante Kingdom. So when he showed it to the king, he decided to adapt the arts as a royal arts. So he, he told them uh, to select about seven houses within this very town who will be leaving for the kingdom. So this day, we have the houses intact. And they are still weaving for the king and queen of the Since uh, the 16th, that is 17th century. 16, uh, 18. So you see King Jose Tutu. Yes. His kente comes from one. Boy. Okay. Or his kente comes from Because traditionally, it is boundary that has to be the boy. Yes, as his predecessors. Yes, yes. So when, uh, in those times, there were no colors. It was black and white and indigo. So they, 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 they understood the spider. They had something called asasitoma. That is, they move it from their loins and place it on the ground. So asase is ground. So cloth woven on the ground, that is called Asasitum. Then from there, they still developed this loom. Uh, they made it with some sticks from the bush, not what the carpenters have made today. Okay. It is an improved form of the first loom 
So when they made the loom, they call it in Sebria, and then they got it broader than what they were making. Mm -hmm. uh, so they came up with something which, when put together, would be a big cloak mm -hmm. to cover the human body. So now it had reached another stage where they had to sit at the loom and weave. But colors were limited. They wove in indigo, white, and black. Then came one of their students from another family. The students called Otakrama. They were teaching him how to weave. Then the sisters of this student went to the coast. At that time, the Asante was trading, Asante was trading with the oil, the Europeans at the coast. They had to walk long distances to the coast to trade. So these sisters came with handkerchiefs, multicolored handkerchiefs. So their brothers unveiled it and used it to weave. So when they wove, they got multicolored. And the first weaving is this multicolored, and it is called Yokoma. Yokoma because Ma is women. Yoko is one of the clans, of the nine clans of Asante. So the women came from the Oyoko clan, and so the plot was named after them from the Oyoko clan. The women just threw them that we got a body. So the king of Ashanti had died, and another king had come. Said to have died, and then succeeded by Opokuware, the first. So Pukuare was more interested in arts, and almost all art forms. So he improved upon the state art. So he said, no, let me make a chief out of this very art. So he made, um, he installed someone as in his cloth. Before the word Kinte came about, it was called woven cloth. It was called woven cloth to a point. When they made changes in the art form, and the surface of the new uh, textile looked like a woven basket. And a woven basket in the, in the Chi language is contained. So they started calling that type of cloth contained to man. A cloth that looks like a woman person. So with that uh, time, the name changed from Kit, from Kenten to Kit. Kenten Tuma, Kenten Tuma, Tuma is cloth. So Kenten Tuma, Kenten Tuma ended up Kenten Tuma, Kenten cloth. So he has told the first two guys as inventors of Kinte. So they became the, the chiefs of Kinte. Still in this town we have them. And they are always, from that house, always uh, the that house produces the chief of Kinte for the king of Ashanti. Called Kinte. Hene, Hene is chief. So Kinte chief come from that house. Then those who, the, the other person who brought multicolored into the weaving was also made a, a special chief whose duty is to produce multicolored kinti for the, for the king of Ashanti. So he was also installed as the chief of this very cloth, the first woven uh, multicolored cloth called Yukuma. Uh, so, so now the, the king of Ashanti has two chiefs uh, in this town. To be more than two, but the most important ones are the Kente chief and this uh, Yukuma chief. Uh, they produce Kente for the king, but when the king has not requested, 
they still have uh, the freedom to win for others. But because they are expert weavers, those who engage them would have to pay uh, more than the ordinary weavers. So the houses that we can pay for the King of Ashanti are seven and all, sta all stations in Bojri. Then we have two of the houses that the first two KJ chiefs came from. Then a time came when they, uh, they needed more hands. So they chose another person to be a third KJ chief, also coming from Bojri. So he became a supervisor of the king's weavers. And that is called Anyomfo Hene. Anyomfo Nyong is to me. That's how they expand the weavers. Yes. yes. So we have three major chiefs. Under them are seven houses that we have. The every king that you see has a name, meaning, and philosophy behind it. The Yukuma is what we have told you. When we take this clothes, it is called Toku Akratu. The weaver who gave it the name is called Toku. But the circumstances that occurred for him to name the cloth is called Akra. To Kra means to bid farewell. This gentleman was weaving when uh, an important priest of the Ashanti kingdom called Konfanochi came by the place he was weaving. And he predicted that as soon as he finished weaving, he was going to pass on, he was going to die. So the man decided, if I should finish and die, then I will not finish. <laughs> so he took his time. What has to take him about three months, took him uh, more than 50 years. He took his time to weave so that he would not die. At a time when he was all, uh, over 90 years old, he decided, what on earth am I doing? I will surely die. So let me finish and then share this pieces to very important chiefs. So he wove 24 pieces of that and shared it to important chiefs and queens in the Ashanti kingdom. So it was said that this is the type of cloth Toku used to bid farewell. So Toku Akrat. That is how uh, the name came about. We have this type. This type was made over a hundred years ago, the design. That was when the British fought the Ashantis, the last war. Yeah. Uh, 1900, between 1900, the war lasted for a year. And it was led by Ashanti war general, a woman, who organized the war, led the war, directed the war, and everything about the war was upon her shoulders. So they made stockade around the whole of the, king, uh, the, 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 the capital of and fought the British behind the stockade. So this cloth is called Behind the Stockade. Uh, to remind us of the war, the Assam War. So at a time when the British seized our king, from the first to the Seychelles Islands, you see, as for social benefit, it was made to tell the, the society that we are all equal. So this is Chame, one Chame. You are not above me. We are all. Equal. This is the name. Of the this was made soon after the return of Prempeh from the Seychelles Island. It was taken in 1926, yeah, 19, 1996, to the Seychelles Island, and returned in 1924. 1826, sorry. It was taken in 1896. Uh, yes, and then returned in 1924. In his return, 
the people of Bugiri uh, made this in honor of his return. So the king has returned. So it's not 30 years. Yes. The king's return. This is the name of the design you see there has a name, meaning, and philosophy. When all are put together, we give it another name. What do you see here? At the tail end, it's called a Pramon. Pramon is a, is a type of gun uh, manufactured by American industry called Permatin. In those days, Permatin was making mortar guns. So the British, that looks like this in their crafts. So, uh, and their inability to pronounce the word Permatin and then them are calling it Permatin. So, Perimati called Fataya, Fata, that is Fataya was from Egypt, the wife of the first president. So the cloth was made in 1960 to commemorate the occasion they were wedding. So it is called Fataya Fata, meaning Fataya. So beautiful befits our president. Uh, it is called a bean asa. That is all designs incorporated. At that time when they made this, they believed and thought that uh, there were no more designs. They had completed all the designs in one day. Uh, unfortunately for the board itself, more designs have come to bypass this one. More complex designs. Or, uh, originally, that was the most uh, complicated design. So it was called a pink castle. That means all designs. Sika Reboja. This one was made uh, and named as soon as you get rich you see your lovers coming closer to you. <laughs> That's <a> wisdom. <laughs> That's the wisdom behind this clip. No one wear his clothes. His designs were not allowed in public. So they even wove it at night so that nobody would copy their designs. And that notion that women should not weave. They did not have anything against women. They were rather overprotective of women. They thought that in 1998, not long ago, some of us decided that we have to change women carrying babies could abort if they were to weave. So women were not allowed to weave. So we marched to the chief's palace here in Bonjure and deliberated uh, with him, Jojo with him, that we are in the technological era. Women should be allowed to weave. So they are free. So today, women are women. And those of us who championed that cause were given national authority. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is uh, uh, what happens in 19. So uh, in case you have some questions, the beat in the drum, we will just go in. But if you have any questions, please ask. Two hunters are the original inventors of this kente cloth. Mm. Where exactly did they see the spider within the cloth? Well, it's about a mile from where we're standing, a mile west. 
of where we are standing. And there is a secondary school in this town. Just right behind the secondary school, the spot where they discovered the spider weaving uh, the web, where they understood the spider, is very uh, shares border with the secondary school, Bogie, uh, secondary high school. So it is the place is still reserved. So that is about a mile away from here. Professor, in the U.S., there's a, a big African folklore of, of, of a Nazi spider. Yes. So this is the real story. Yeah, this, of the this is a real story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's the name given to that place? The place is called Ayuwa Kesie. Oh. Uh, we say see you in my next video. Thank you all. I want to say again a big thanks to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Guys, I wasn't SU. See you in my next video. Bye.